Hello everyone, this is Blair Art and welcome back to Dragon's Origins. Now last time we finally saved the Sir, the circle of Magi and we had like this this weird dream where <laughs> we were making up with Alistair. We had a that was a crazy dream, huh? Also, you I'll also um, Sten still has his normal outfit on. Yeah, I could not find. Yeah, th there isn't like a single like Kunari, um, Kunari, um, 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 conversion for Swanson for the Kunari because it doesn't exist anymore. I'm not sure if I still have like an armor that we could. Okay, you know what? You know what? Maybe, just maybe, um, Sten, yeah, Sten could wear these. Just maybe. Also, they, they don't look that bad. Also, Sten doesn't even have a weapon yet. Oh, shoot. Alright. Also, before we... Before we go... Enchantment? Once I'm enchantment done. Enchantment. All right. So what we? Oh, so we got a ton of novice novice runes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the Icarus Blade Great Sword. We will will be needing. Wait. What we got? That's okay. This is just only my lightning rune. We're gonna need some frost runes. Okay, I'm not done yet. Enchantment. Oh, okay, I could do this more than once. Okay. Alright. Now, that's it, apparently. Alright, so, oh yeah, we need uh, an outfit for Wynn because she's here. Uh, so, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got, um, well, I think this is, alright, so I got um, outfits for Wynn and out an outfit for Zevron. Nice. And, yeah. Except for Stan, but he's but he he'll just wear this armor because you know it suits him. Cause why not? But anyway, um, right. Uh, let's go talk to Sora. Your dog is filthy. I can smell him fifty yards off. <laughs> Good. He will fill our enemies with his stench. That may be so. But all the same, I would like your permission to bathe him. Hey, go, go ahead. He's go ahead. He's a little. He's getting a little rank. Aww. Excellent. I will get my soaps, and the dog shall have his bath after supper. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's wagging. Oh. Look at this doggy. Look at this doggy. Alright, so let's go talk to everybody. Well, before we leave. When? So tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? Uh I was tainted and only the joiner could save me. Then you became a Grey Warden out of necessity. But Duncan must also have seen something special in you. The Order does not take in recruits just to save their life. You must be proud to be able to represent your tribe and the Dalish as a Grey Warden. The Keeper Force be- okay, um... I just hope I can show the strength- I was honored to be chosen by Duncan. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Hmm. Perhaps it was meant to be. It's honestly sad how, like, there are no Grey Wardens except for Alistair and I. Okay, these two are just emissaries. Okay. Alright. Ogren. What you need? Alright. I need to know more about you. What about? Oh, okay, no, that was it. All right. We'll talk more later. Aye, all right then. Yep. 
All right, Liliana. Yes. I just talk. Well, here I am. You are a traveling minstrel. Do you have tills to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Hmm. Tell me about Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. And their pride? They thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Shots. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Hmm. Knowing stories from Oli. Of course, Olesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. That sounds interesting. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. What in the... Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield a sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Continue, please. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor, and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Mm. Did she win the tourney? Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, oh. ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Mm. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. Mm. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. Hmm. Right. Do you know any Ferelden legends? I know one. Talk to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chill me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? Flemeth? Morgan's mother was called Flemeth. Ah, uh, are you sure? Was she THE Flemeth of legend? Yes. Flemeth, the devour of men? Yep. Flemeth, mm -hmm. mother of witches. Flemeth, demon touched, who dwells yes, in the myth. Yes, that Flemeth. They probably just had... She looked like your average old woman. Well, 
If Flemeth really exists, she would be very, very old indeed. Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her yep, forever. Yep, Morgan told they us. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty and will steal yours through your looking glass if she catches you. Tell me the whole story. Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night, skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as beautiful and perilous as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyever, Conobar, and he took her for his wife. Huh. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. He kept this a secret, for he feared that she would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some years, and with his blessing, she practiced her art. And then one day, a young poet named Osen came to the castle. Flemeth was captivated by Osen's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. Oh, what happened then? Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and in the Kokari wilds with the chasing tribes. They lived there happily for many a year, till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered Hyeva, they were captured by Conobar's men and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's army. Oh, I Flemeth forgot. Flemeth was imprisoned yeah. in the highest tower of the castle, there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon intended yeah. for it to wreak yeah. vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her into an abomination, the halls of the castle run red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away, and at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side many chastened men, and with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari wilds. There's, there was another story I wanted to hear. Which one? Do you know anything about the Dalish? I know a little about your people, but I may be misinformed, and I would hate to offend you. No, 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 that's fine. I would not be offended. I have heard a little about how the elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. He foresaw a future where the elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the elves continued to fight, eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The elves claimed the dales in the south and settled there in a the land of their own. Hmm. But it didn't last. The elves lived in the dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the elven gods and would allow the building of no chantry. This angered the chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The chantry says the elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. Mm. The chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the winter. During the exalted march of the dales, the elven cities were sacked, and the elven state completely dissolved. Some of the elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. Yep. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans, and instead became homeless wanderers. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. Hmm. What do you know about Andraste? Andraste was the Maker's chosen. The Maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace, and wisdom enraptured him, and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. 
But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the Maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Hmm. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Okay, how did Andraste die? Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Oh. Her earthly husband, Mafarath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the Maker's betrothed, and Mafarath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the Maker. Out of envy and spite, Mafarath made a pact with the Archon Hesarian of Tevinta, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at a stake in Minrathos, the capital of Tevinta. Oh gosh. But Tevinta has a chantry, doesn't it? The Tevinta chantry claims that in Andraste's last moments, Hesarian's heart softened and he heard the voice of the Maker telling him to end her suffering. He plunged his sword into her heart, and as her blood washed over his hands, he became one of the faithful. Dissenters said that the Archon only converted because he could not stem the tide of Andraste's cult, and was forced to do so to stay in power. We will never know for sure. Hmm. Let's just move on. Okay. Alright, so who else can I talk to? Zevron, actually. We never talked to Zevron. Here I am. Can I answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. What does it take to become an assassin? Well, the Crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. So, it doesn't take any special skill? Actually, no, you did quite well, no doubt. Within the Crows, I did. But it has been something the Crows have devoted a great deal of time to perfecting. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Hmm. That sounds like it would be useful. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, Sten. I don't think there's any dialogue with Sten. Like, hardly. There's hardly any. Um, what were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Cute, you're the silent type, I see. Your grasp of the obvious is remarkable. Um, you don't like me much, do you? Warden, if I truly disliked you, I would leave. That I am still here, you may interpret however you choose. No, 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 no. you're... La fine, let's drop this for now. Parshera, was there anything else? Let's just go. As you wish. Minus strength. Oh, wow. Minus strength. Okay, so... Oh, wait, no. Wait, did I talk to Wynn? I don't remember. I don't know if I did. I must ask, what does being a Grey Wolf Oh, wait, no, I did talk to her, but... It means I've been chosen to do something important, glory and honor on the battlefield. I suppose it's about killing as many. 
It means everyone needs to show me some strength. It means I've been chosen to do something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Blight. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. Um, you mean to say I serve as a protector? As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. A good king, a true king, who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. Hmm. So, and so in a way, having power confines you. If you live apart from others and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. Mm. But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. Yeah. Okay, um, we... We haven't... We... Actually, no, let's go talk to Alistair first, before Morgan. What do you need? I need to ask you something. Ask away. Uh, tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such, Such as they are. are. Oh, no, that was it. About, about the Grey, Grey Wardens, Wardens, anyhow. Fair, Fair enough. enough. What, what do you need? need? Ask you something. Ask away. Can you see just being a Templar? I already said I wouldn't. The answer is still no. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean that. Uh, Okay, well, at least I didn't actually get like this improvement or something from Alistair, so that's good. What do you wish of me? We can ask you something. If you must. How do how do you become a shape changer? Shape changer? Is that shape um shape shifter? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches. Saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike. Dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. You must have been doing this for a long time then. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can you change into other humans' form as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Hmm. Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talent. Ah, it makes sense. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Yeah, it makes sense. There have been Dalish Keepers who use similar magic. Oh? Then I have no doubt your people do much to keep their talents well hidden from humans. I wonder if I was to ask one of your Keepers, of the origin of their magics, if there would be any relation to what I was taught. Hmm. Um, that would be intriguing, wouldn't it? I may even ask my mother about it someday, though I doubt she would tell the truth of it even so. Such is her way. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. 
I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. Mm. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what do other animals think of you when you change? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Hmm. That's all I want to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Nah. No. I think your ability sounds quite useful. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Alright. And now I, I'm done here. Now I just need to go and... Let's go and... Uh... Well, well, we'll do something. There's supposed to be one more character. It's a like golem, but I don't know where where to start the um, the quest. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take Win, yes. Alistair. Yes. Actually, no, not Alistair. Last it. Sten. Yes. Right, and Morrigan. Indeed. We're going to okay. We'll we'll go to Redcliffe Village last. Right now, we're going to to outskirts. What now? Okay. We've been waiting for you, Warden. Are you kidding me? Really now? Prince, Prince, Prince Balan's dead. What? Oh my God! Yep, Sten is dead. Sten is definitely dead. I'm a level up. I need to level up. I need to level I need to level oh, Sten and Morrigan too. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's still more. Is it using blood magic? What? Wait, no, who is the blood magic? Too much, too much. Okay, we get a weapon from the leader. There we go. There we go. Oh, finally. Let's loot them up. Let's level them up, actually. Holy crap, okay. Alright, he's gonna go with survival. Alright, and... Stunning blows. 
and shattering bull blows and two hand strength and sunder armor now for morrigan it's gonna be flame blast all right now let's just get out of here Andara Natishan, my friend. You have come a long way. I give you the welcome of our clan. These are curious companions you have. Might I ask the purpose of your visit? I come I have come on behalf of the Grey Wardens, sister. The Grey Wardens? You have joined their ranks? How unusual! Excuse my surprise. I will take you to the keeper right away. Hmm, I see we have a guest, and one of our own, no less. This one is from one of our sister clans to the north, Keeper, but claims to have come on behalf of the Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens? How unusual that one of our own should join their ranks. How did such a thing occur? It's a, um, they need all the assistance they can get. Hmm, it is as I feared then. Very well. Let us speak. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen, Keeper. Now, perhaps we might introduce ourselves. I am Zathrian, Keeper and Haran of this clan. You are? My name is Ma My name is Nebula. Pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. So their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. Do not allow our troubles to burden you, though I suspect they may impact your mission. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Oh, jeez! The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us and though we drove the beasts back much damage was done many of our warriors lie dying as we speak even with all our magic and healing skill we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts the blight's evil must be stopped but we are in no position to uphold our obligations i am truly sorry I'll... wait. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. I mean, I am good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I'll find this with a funk for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, 
Then I wish you luck. All right. I need some equipment. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. All right. I should. I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator speed on your way. All right. Nice. Dealish comp. Varathorn. Varathorn. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Varathorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. And dear Anatitian friend, it has been some years since I met Master Island at the last gathering. He is still hailed, I hope. He was fine when I last saw him, yeah. Wait, who's Ellen again? I don't know, I haven't seen my clan for some time. Is that so? Irabellos. To be separated from one's clan is to be separated from one's heart. I met your father, for he was once keeper of your clan. <laughs> you carry many of his features. He spoke at a gathering, telling the clans that more of us need to voyage into the Shemlin world and learn their ways. He would be proud to see his daughter a Grey Warden, I think. Hmm. Thank you, that's kind of you to say. Our people speak so little of the dead, especially those who end in... in tragedy. I thought you should know. Regardless. Hmm. I I was told you could supply me with equipment. Yes, yes. The keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. There is a large chest by the Araville where I put everything we could spare. Feel free to sort through it and take whatever you need. Okay. I like the box with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Any poultices? Yes, you do. I need some. Okay, anything else? I need to like, get rid of like these um these old like these regular robes. I'm gonna sell this one. I I don't know what is, what uses are for. Nah, I think we're good. Okay, let's take a look around before we too freely. Okay. Common. Let's take a look around. Maybe um something hap maybe something will happen, I don't know. I hear only the Danish can control the Hala. They listen to no one else. That's true, that's true. Alora. I wanna can we actually go here? No, we cannot, which is sad. Death uh, death roots. Well, I, I thought I could, I, I thought I saw something, but nah, there wasn't. Let's take a look, let's take a look at the map. Alright, so we could travel there, there's the, the Brazilian forest. Kamen, Athras, who's that? I'm pretty sure that's, um, Varathorn. Who comes? Anathara. I was so busy attending the Hala, I did not hear you coming. I take it you are the clan's master Huda. I am indeed. I am Alora, and it is my place to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. In return, the Hala guide us where we need to go. 
I noticed you're separated with this hollow from this hood. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Is there anything I could do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Okay. Um, try to calm the Hala. Even though we're lacking of that skill. Yes, that's it. She's calming oh. down. That's it, love. Be calm. Oh. Tell me what I was wondering what was going on. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another hollow was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Masiranus, thank you. Oh, that's you. right. We are dealers now, so we, know what, so we know what to do. I will always be grateful for your help. I keep. I forgot what a dealish elf. I completely forgot about that. What com that's it? <laughs> that was it? I was grateful for your help. That was it? But, whoa. What? Okay, we can't unlock that. That's a, that's a child. So there's another one. Nah, we're not going to the, the Brazilian forest yet. That's coming. There's another character who is somewhere. Right here. After us. Anathara, friend. It is good to see another of the wandering clans. Where is your clan now, if I might ask? Um, they went to know just as I left. I see. I am glad you have become part of such a respectful organization as the Grey Wardens, however. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. You don't seem very happy about that. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't trouble you with this. You have your own concerns, I am certain. I like to hear about that. Well, perhaps you could help me with it. I would certainly appreciate anything you could do. My wife, Denyla, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denyla is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. What? I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. I would not allow any to keep me from my goal. Hmm. Going out there could cause another attack, and I wish no harm upon my clan. This I understand. To hold the group over the individual is worthy. An unexpected trait in your kind. If I could just know if Denyla is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I will seek her, I'll seek her out in the forest. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. Okay. Lost to the curse. And now there's like another one. You are the Dalish Grey Warden. And Darren Atitian. It it is good to meet you. That sounds so white boyish. What in Thank you. Who might you be? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Why can't you? I suppose there's no harm in telling you. You know our ways. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of the beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Gaina? Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. 
I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... and Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. There must be some way to solve... There must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. What if I get the pill for you? No, I, I, I couldn't do that. I must kill the beast myself. It is my rite of passage to become a full hunter. Alright. Do you want to marry Gena or not? Make a decision. You are right. I do want to marry Gena before she marries someone else. So you would get a pelt for me? Why would you do that? <laughs> Alright. To see you two get together, of course. Then. I am very grateful. I will pray to Andrul, the goddess of the hunt, for your success. Alright. Common's lament. Okay, um, wait, actually. Let me take a look at the. Okay, nothing. Pouch of Ashes. When do I have this? I can they cremate it? means when do I have this ancient treaties garnet trinket love letter meteor what is this honestly everything that I have I don't know what uses is this anything for let's just let's just go let's just go oh wait did I am I going yeah I'm going the wrong way yeah I'm going the wrong way yeah the Brazilian force is like this way. That's the wrong way too. Oh gosh. Alright. Alright, we're here. Many enter this forest and I've never seen again. Let's hope we don't join. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, here comes the here comes the wolves. Bet you I could kill it in two blows. Okay, a white wolf too. Finally, okay, okay, what is this? Okay, nah, 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 nah. Okay, nah, nah, nah. We doing all this already. We are victorious. Yeah. Wolf pelt, nice. Wait, how much do I need? Wait, how much do I need? Okay. Okay. Pelt for him. Oh, okay, okay. So we just. I think we only need one? I think. I think we only need one pelt, and. I'm gonna bring, like, another one. I'll bring like another one just in case, but I'm pretty sure it's just one that I need, right? Uh, okay, uh, okay. The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Another of the Dalish come to put us in our place. Come to make us pay for our attack. What? And who are you supposed to be? You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. We have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Out of my way, unless you can tell me where Witherfang is. You think we would help you find the Great Wolf? You think we would let you kill him? Then you are a fool. Hey, come brothers and sisters. Swift Runner calls you to battle. Drive this invader from our midst. Oh, okay. We need a better weapon for us, 
man. Oh. Okay. Who? Morgan. Enough. The forest has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. Okay. All right. Um, first things first. Uh, I need a weapon for. All right, this is what I got. Um, yeah, it's a buccaneer sword, so why not? Oh gosh. Okay, they're here. Okay, that's that's more coming. We running, we running. Let's get out of here. Oh, but it, okay, never mind. There's still more. There's still more. Just call me. No win! Oh, win! You are your best. Ah, crap, yeah, this is bad. Oh my god, if you get the freak off my face. Oh crap, I forgot. Um. Taken as long as it did. 
That was random. Okay, no, we're not going there. That is a trap. Oh gosh. Oh my god, there's three of them! Okay, nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Wait, this way is... Wait, wait a minute. Wait. We are back at the beginning of the path. The forest, it seems, does not wish us to reach wherever the path leads. How protective. Yep, it looks like it. Okay. Where to go at this point actually? Okay, um this way. Oh no, there's gonna be oh, there please. I, I don't wanna face like these fucking ends, bro. Si okay. Sylvan, I don't care what they are. I don't care what they're called. Okay, hermit. Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? A uh, man behind the forest. Who are you? Questions, questions, always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Will it do the same for you? Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. You want me to answer your question? Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? Okay. Right. Isn't that a question? Would you know a question if it was asked? Are you mocking me? I don't know. Are you mocking me? This is ridiculous. No! That is not a question. And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? Okay. Then will you ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? How do I enter this into the forest? It's where the wolfmen have their lair. But the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. And how do you fool them? Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? Which oak tree are you talking about? Oh, just some large, talking, rhyming oak tree that's missing its acorn now? He's far off to the southwest, deep within the forest. Rather hard to miss. Okay. And uh, in return, you'll help me. I will indeed. After all, why not? It's up to you, however. Time to move on. Okay. Do you want me to ask another question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Okay. Um... I don't have anything to ask. Oh, no? Well, you just let me know if you change your mind. Run along and tell them whatever you wish. I intend to keep digging. Okay. Okay. What in the hell? What? Okay, yeah, he's really mad. I wish I have, st I, have, I wish I have Zevron with me, but I don't. It appears someone has dug a hole beneath a stump, leading it into a tiny and filthy cave of sorts. Obviously, the hermit sleeps in there. 
There's also appeared to be a small cubby hole within the hole of the trunk itself. It's filled with mud, twigs, and other debris. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. Okay. Try to enter the small cave. Try to squeeze into the small opening, but it's too small for even a child to fit into. How the home enter is a, enter, is, enters is a mystery. It's in the cubby hole. You put your hand in the mud and feel around. You find something and grab onto it. You feel something else to move around in the mud and it stabs your hand painfully as you yank your prize out. You're a robber, is what you are. They oh boy. You, they? Well, I'll show you. They won't get away with this. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, oh boy, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh god. So, wrong sword, okay. Ow, what in the. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, so what do we got? Gun oh, we have it! We are victorious again! We have it, actually. Now let's just get out of here. Wait. Is there actually something? Oh, it's blocked off. No. Oh, in Got there. It. Okay. In there. Okay, but there wasn't anything to, to do about it. So let's just leave. Okay. Let me get, okay, I'm probably just use this crap. Anyway. Huh. <sighs> Where should I go at this forest barrier? Okay, I see some. Hmm, it appears we got some enemies over there. Let's go there. Bet you I keep it in of course, bears. We're skipping everything, you know, we're skipping everything. Oh gosh, okay, apparently there's two ogres here. Ow. What? Let me get up! Nebula, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'll take that. Bubble. Oh, this might be for Sora, actually. Got it. Okay, I'll fight Arrow. Now Grief. it's better than later. The air seems unnaturally cold around this ancient tombstone. Runes of warding are carved into the surface. No, leave it. Okay, that's a lot of thorns, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, okay, we went, okay, we went around, okay, that's where it was. Charge corpse, I just got some quartz. Yeah, so this, wait. Yeah, this just leads nowhere. Right. It 
let's go this way actually wait oh we know we went there already oh my gosh this whole place is let me look it up so we went up there oh we need to go the okay we need to go the other side okay the other side Just grasp. Don Danya Dandula. Help. Listen. I am not the mindless beast I appear to be. What happened to you? They I am cursed. Turned into this creature. A curse, it, it burns in me. I fled into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in, but I had to return. I had to. You are Baelish. I am as well, or I was, until I change. Please, have you seen my clan? Oh. Okay. You keepers don't want to ask me to venture here. The keepers and you? Then you seek with a fang. I do. Have you seen them? I have, but... <laughs> It is not what you think. But there is no time to explain. You must listen. My name is Denyla. Denyla. Husband. He is oh. Please, you must bring him a message. There is death in her eyes. It will not be long now. Mm. The staff. I will bring it to him. <laughs> Tell him I love him. Tell him <laughs> I am dead and with the gods. I beg you. Very well. I will do it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I only want him. He is a good man. Oh, the pain! The curse is fire in my blood. Please, hand it for me. Hand it quickly. Alright, very well. I will end your pain. That's sad. That's really sad. 
Wait, does this take us back to the facility? Oh no, no, it... Wait, did we cover everything? Not, not exit to West Forest. Okay. All right. What? You, oh my gosh! Wait, did we went by? I don't remember which one it is. Oh my god, I'm so lost. Okay, no, this leads back to the Dalish camp. What the hell, bro? What? Huh? So. Wait, no, this, there must be a, like another one, right? There's an, another path there. Okay, okay. Guys, no, 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 get out, man. Oh, this one's good. No, no, I'm done. I can't. What? There's another one? Grand Oak. What manner of beast be thee that comes before this elder tree? Alright. You're not gonna attack me, are you? Ah, thou speakest of the others. How filled they are with hate. I apologize on their behalf. They cannot control their fate. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. <laughs> I can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. The world is certainly full of marvelous, unexpected creations. Each day we see something that we never thought possible. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Okay. What's this boon you mention? I have but one desire. To solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. Wait. Is this the acorn you're talking about? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. This cannot pass without reward. I shall give what little I can afford. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. Thanks. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find thee. Thy days be long, thy winters kind. 
and thy roots be strong. Alright. Let's go. Finally. We could we could actually go past uh, that one barrier. Okay. So yeah, yeah the barrier's right here. There we go. We got true. Oh. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well. But you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. I want to know why you attacked me last time. You are sent by the treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. Why do you call the Dalish treacherous? You attacked them. And they deserve no less. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill, as all your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Oh boy. As you wish. Gosh, this man's really hurt. Okay, no, he's he's fine. He's fine. Ah. What in the? Okay. <gasps> Oh gosh, okay. when the werewolves have the key or something. Can I get you a ladder so you can get okay, off my not back? not this one. Okay, maybe through here. This looks very familiar. This looks very familiar. I'll get on it. I am your death. Oh gosh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Ok, 
get to empty room. Nah, this looks really familiar. We've been here. We've been somewhere similar before. this way. Lower level, okay. Ugh. Oh, we're here. Huh? A spirit? Oh gosh, okay. Looks like something wants to die. <laughs> Devouring now skeleton. Okay, this is gonna take really long. Aha! Huh? Where is he going? What? Holy crap. I never knew you could carry this game. No, you again. Strike. Where am I going? Where is that going? Oh, well done. I will not be defeated. Who is this? Ghostly boy. Are you looking for your mother? I can help you find her. Mommy! 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 Calm down, what are you seeing? Oh no. Oh, uh, uh, what in the way? Oh my gosh, look at the map. Oh my gosh, look at the map. Nah. Bioware, what were you thinking? Bioware, you summoned like billions of skeletons. Isn't true here? Yes. I'm not going down there. I know where, where, that, where it is. Okay, we got. Oh, 
fountain? Oh, it's locked. Is that a fountain? The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshing from some internal source, perhaps magically. Submerged in the water is what appears to be small earthen jug. Okay, take the earthen jug. Examine and test the water carefully. The water appears normal and dipping your hand into it, it's cool to touch. It is definitely circulated by some unknown force. Drink some of the water. The water is surprisingly refreshing, but otherwise it has no special effects. Okay. Take the earthen jug. You take the jug out of the pool, it is made out of clay and appears to be not in the worst for its long submersion. Fill the earthen jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. Alright, let's leave it. I don't know. Was that there before? I don't remember seeing it. Altar. Alright, alright. The altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. Numerous carvings cover its surface, but most are eroded beyond legib legibility. Okay. Place the fill earthen jug on the top of the altar. The fill jug is now on the top of the altar. Kneel before an altar and pray, I, I guess. You kneel before the altar and pray. The water inside the jug suddenly begins boiling and bubbling until the gas jets out of it into the air. What? Huh? Um, um, that was a quest, I guess, or something. I don't know what just happened. We just pray at the altar, and then mo the, the 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 fade demons came out. Okay, wait. Okay, we covered. I'm pretty sure we didn't cover here. Um, what if we cover down here? No, no, oh come on! I was trying to avoid them! Oh my Excellent! Morgan, oh my god. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, you, that's a joke. That is such a joke. And in here is no different. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. Nice. How many are there? Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is where, this is where we're meant to go. This is actually where we, where we need to go.
So that is not where we need to go. Oh my gosh, where to go? I see sunshine. I see sunlight, but that's not where we need to go. Oh gosh. There's a no oh my god, we need to find that exit. We need to find with a find fast. Okay. Alright, so Okay, what about up here? Like do we Okay, apparently it has nothing. The quartz, nice. But where to go actually? Oh, we have. Oh, wait, we haven't been there before. We've never been downstairs before. Unless. Oh, yeah. Really? Really now? Oh, my gosh. So. Okay, so up here, we need to go there. We need to go up there. It's up there. Wait, but we we've been here already. It's locked though. Now is better than later. How do you okay, first things first, I'm gonna Alright, willpower, strength. Hmm. Let's go with um survival. Rally. I'm really confused about this part. It's so conf okay. It's really confusing. Like, where do you go? There's a door right here, and you can't pass it. Every every single oh my, wait, wait a minute. Oh my gosh! Don't tell me. Don't tell me that I have to go this way. Plus, okay, no, I have to go straight down. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. You... Go to that, go to that um, big area over there. Oh, but that one's locked too. That one's locked too. Over there's lock. Oh wait, it's wait not. Okay, it's not. Oh, so it's good. We gotta go. Game saved or no? All right, all right. Oh boy, yep, I knew it. You know, I could just do this. Wait, what? Huh? Oh no! Oh, I messed up. Oh gosh, we got the the arcane horror. I'll get on it.
Busy on the weekend Caught up in your own small world Well, I might want to see it then Call it hesitation, girl 